Fluffs! Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on some things that I think it's important to keep in mind if you want to get one of these Malamutes. Um, this is just my experience with Danny, so remember all dogs have different personalities and your experience could be different, but I hope this video will help you if you are thinking about getting one of these big beautiful doggies. So let's get started. So I have a few things written down on these post-it notes from work because, yep, animators still use post-it notes because we are old school. And anyway, the first thing that I think it's really important, this is the most important thing to know, is that pets, not just Malamutes, but dogs, cats, any sort of pet is a lifetime commitment. So getting a pet is forever. If you commit to giving a home to your pet, then they deserve your love, attention and care until their dying day. <laughs> Nothing makes me more sad than when people abandon their pets, um, but it does happen. So if you are thinking of getting a Malamute, then I recommend going to a animal shelter or a Malamute rehoming charity to look for a suitable pet. Um, you don't necessarily have to get a puppy, you could also get an adult dog or a senior dog and give them a great life. So that is the first point that I think it's important to know if you're thinking about getting a Malamute, is that they are a lifetime commitment. And the second thing I think you should know about Malamutes is their size. <laughs> so if you're thinking about getting one of these guys, you probably already know that they are really big, but just how big are they? They are huge, so be prepared to commit to a very large dog. When we rescued Danny, he was four months old and he was about 15 kilos um, but he nearly died of starvation and the vet said that he was supposed to be 30 kilos so he was meant to be 30 kilos at four months old I know that Malamutes make adorable little puppies but they do not stay small for long um, so yeah just be aware that they can grow to be very very big Danny's um, 150 pounds, which is 50 kilos. He's bigger than me, but shh, don't tell him he doesn't know. Um, but yeah, they are very, very big dogs, and I think that's very important to know as well. And the third thing I'd like to talk about is training. So Malamutes are very intelligent and they can also be quite stubborn and they're very strong so you definitely need to train them properly. Um, people see Danny and they're like, oh my gosh, he's so well behaved, I want to get one like him. And they haven't seen all the effort and time that we have put into his training. so. They definitely need more training than other dogs. Um, I would recommend, besides the basic obedience, also socializing them. So I recommend taking them to puppy classes, so that way you can get the basic obedience like sit, stay, heal and all that sort of thing. And also you get some socialization with other puppies. If you get them used to other people and animals with their puppies, then they'll grow up to be well-adjusted, friendly dogs. And if you are thinking of getting a puppy, once they have all their vaccinations, take them to the dog park so they can socialize with other doggies. So yeah, that's what I recommend for training because you will need to train them. And the next thing I'd like to talk about is howling. <laughs> so Malamutes howl and Danny has never really barked in his life. He's only barked a few times and it's not like the deep bark that you would expect from 
a dog of this size, it was more like a ruff, ruff, ruff kind of bark, um, but he did used to howl and he howled whenever he was left alone because he had bad separation anxiety from being abandoned when he was a pup. So how we stopped that is we would leave him outside by himself for a little bit and um, we would go outside and spray him with water every time he howled. Uh, you guys know he hates water, <laughs> but it didn't hurt him so it just got him to stop the behavior that we didn't want um, and you know we'd start off like leaving him outside for 10 minutes and every time he howled we'd go out and spray him and then we started leaving him outside for longer and longer amounts of time until eventually he could just be left out by himself and he wouldn't howl we also trained him to howl on command he can't really howl anymore because he's too old but that way we could control when he howled and when he didn't and also I forgot to mention in this this in the training section but I only trained Danny with positive reinforcement so lots of treats praise and pats and we don't use anything like choke chains or anything like that the only thing we will do is spray him with water because he hates it but it doesn't hurt him so it just stops him from doing any bad behavior that we don't want so we've covered pets being forever, the size of Malamutes, the training and the howling, and the last thing I'd like to mention in this video that I think it's important to know if you're thinking about getting one of these guys is that they love having a job. So they're working dogs but not all Malamutes are sled dogs. <laughs> Danny has never pulled a sled in his life and he never will. Um, but he did used to have a job. He was a therapy dog and he loved it. He loved having a purpose and having a job and going there and just doing what he was supposed to do. Um, just keep in mind that if you want your dog to be a therapy dog, they do need to pass a test. Um, but also, their job could be as simple as being a pet. Danny is retired now because he's too old to be a therapy dog anymore, but he just loves hanging out with us and chilling at home and being the family pet. So that's his job now. <laughs> anyway, that was the video for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, these are just a few of the things that I think are important to know probably the most important things that I could think of if you want more information I can make another video for you guys say um, explaining other things I think are important to know because uh, Malamutes are not an easy dog to train um, so if you're thinking of getting one of these then you will need to put a lot of time and commitment into raising them. So yeah, anyway, that's the video for today. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Stay fluffy. Bye.